Hi everyone, I'm Kate McCauley. Welcome to Sneak Peek Week. This week we are talking about this beauty. It's called the With Love Poncho. Now, if you are anything like me, right now you might be saying, I don't wear ponchos. I didn't either. And then I decided to give it a go because I am always cold. I love the whole drapey look. That's like my go-to thing to have drapey fabrics and drapey shapes. So I thought, why not? This is transseasonal. It really is going to depend on your fabric. And there are all sorts of different looks that you can make depending on your aesthetic or what you're doing or just your personal taste on that particular day. Now, don't forget to join in our giveaway. All you need to do is comment on this video, either here on YouTube or in our group, and you'll go in the draw to win one of these patterns for free. The same applies to the tester photos, just comment on those. I will be choosing one each day and that will be drawn on Thursday, just before the pattern release. Now our testers will start showing their photos from tomorrow and then there is the pattern release that starts on Thursday the 22nd of July 6.30 p.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time. So let's get straight into it. There are four different looks you can make. Now I've just broken them up into looks because that's what I do. <laughs> But you can mix and match the different elements, like the different pockets, the different lengths to whatever you want. So there is the weekend look, and that is lovely and gorgeously relaxed with the roll neck and patch pockets. So you can add them or not add them. Then there is the city look, and that is a lot more sophisticated, but depending on your fabric, you can dress down that that sophistication to a weekend look with the same neckline detail. And that's the one with the buttons. And the buttons are functional or not functional. It is totally up to you. I prefer it open, but if you wanted to do it up and add those buttonholes, you could do that too. Then there's Sporty. And Sporty is of course characterized by the hood and the kangaroo pocket. And you can add contrast details to that to make it even more sporty. And last but not least, we have the all seasons. Now this one is probably the most versatile season wise as you do the layering yourself. So you can either do the, just the t-shirt neckline and you could do it in a light fabric for summer, say at the pool or at the beach as a cover up or just in the evenings, you could do it um, as an evening option. You could do it um, then for the office, like you know how the air condition is in office. Offices get really, really cold in the summertime. Perfect cover up. And then if you are going outside and it's cold outside and you need that extra layer, you can just put on that added scarf in either a contrast or a matching fabric. Now, fabric wise, pretty much any stretch fabric that you can think of will work for this. I think the only thing you need to remember is the personality of the fabric. And this is actually a great one to learn about fabric personality. So you probably hear me talk about that a lot. Once you get to know the characteristics of a fabric, or as I call them, the fabric's personality, it helps you decide more decisively what you are gonna make from that fabric. So you could use a polar fleece and it'll be lovely and thick and snuggly. You could use um, a sweatshirt fabric and make kind of like a tracksuit look. You could use, um, say, the Lush Alpaca, which is gorgeously soft and super casual. You could use a lace, a glitter fabric. Your basic t-shirt fabrics like Modal, Viscose, um, Rayon and Bamboo, and you get those gorgeous drape of um, like a t-shirt, like an easy fit t-shirt. What else? You could use French terry, of course. You could use a rib knit, a sweater knit, hachi. There are so many options. Just use your imagination. You can run the stretch either way. And I've got the salvage. I didn't even hem this one. I just used the salvage. So as you can see, it is totally flexible as far as the lengths and the widths that you want to do. And you can use the salvage and not hem it at all or just hem it along the sides. And speaking of lengths, there are three that we have in the pattern. But again, you can do your own. We have a top length. So 
it sits around about the hips, but that is going to depend on your body length. And then there is a high low length. So at the front, it's the same as the top and at the back, it is longer. And then there is the long length and that's about mid thigh. And again, it's going to depend on the length of your body, the length of your legs, follow the finished measurements. Or if you're not fussy, just wait and see. Now, one thing I will add is lengths. This is the same as anything else with lengths. There are some lengths that are going to suit you and there are some lengths that aren't. So the beauty of this is try it on and see. If you're feeling that that length doesn't suit you, just pin it up and have a look and just play with it until you get the length that suits you. And that goes for your arm length as well. This is a longer length and then there is a shorter length, but you can go shorter if you want to. There are short, regular and tall cutting lines. So you can, you can choose for yourself. There are finished garment lengths as well so that you can do that. Okay, let's get started on the ponchos. Let's start with weekend. Now, as I said, weekend is comfortable and relaxed and easy. And whatever that means for you is perfect. For me, I like to dress up a little bit, but be comfortable and casual at the same time. This is my current favorite outfit. These are the Palazzo pants, which are so fabulous and so comfortable in a viscose um, knit fabric. And then I've just got on a t-shirt. And what I love about this poncho, I just have on a short sleeve t-shirt and it's cold today and I am snugly warm. So this is a rib fabric from Jono's on the Sunshine Coast. And this is the gorgeous roll neck. So it's folded over. It is gorgeously snugly and warm. Now, how it sits on your neck is going to depend on your fabric. This fabric has quite a lot of bulk to it. So it sits up nice and high around my neckline. It's not tight, as you can see. But if you have a floppier fabric, it is going to be a lot more drapey. So it really depends on what you want to achieve. Um, you could use a contrast if you wanted this to be drapey and this to be firmer. Um, anything that you want to do. Now this is the high-low, so shorter at the front, longer in the back. And I just love the casual ease of it, even over a pair of shorts. In the autumn, when it starts to get a little bit cooler at the beginning of autumn, is fantastic. Now, if you want a little bit more of a dressed up look, try adding a dress. This is the Entice Me dress. So it's lovely and fitted to your body. And then with the poncho over the top, mixing the print with the plain, and then you just pick up a little color. If you're not sure how to mix prints together or prints and planes together, just pick up a color within it and give it a go. And that, is gorgeous and again sleeveless and I'm nice and warm and then if you need that layered warmth of a long sleeve and you still want to wear a dress you can layer it up and it is fabulous again this is the entice me dress and I've just lengthened it to the ankle now if you want your poncho to close see how I have it open if you want it to close, it is very, very simple. And those instructions are in the tutorial. Now, the other thing that I like to do on the weekends, which I'm sure you do too, is veg on the couch and watch a good movie. But I get cold and my husband does not, so we compromise. And here is my compromise. This is kind of halfway between the top length and the long length. Um, it is the longer sleeve. And see how lovely and relaxed and warm. And this is the one that I tend to pop on when I'm at my desk and working and there's a bit of a chill. Gorgeous neck again. You can see how lovely and fluffy it is thrown over leggings and a short sleeve or a long sleeve t-shirt or a jumper, whatever you need to do to stay warm. The 
this is another easy weekend. Or when it gets a little bit cooler, over your favourite shorts. It's really cute and just easy. A couple of years ago, Mel and I bought this super thick, like it's really, really thick, cable knit fabric. And then we had no idea what to do with it. And voila, if you need to be really, really, really extra warm, try a thick, chunky knit. I haven't done the hems on this. I've just cut it using the selvage and just using the raw edge and just cut it and let it go. It will probably unravel a little bit, but I'm okay with that. And here is my chunky, warm poncho. So it is gorgeously chunky. It is so warm. And I've just done a contrast neck in a ribbit knit because there was no way that was going to be sewn on around the neck. And it's fabulous. And I've just made a little pair of foxies, aren't they? <laughs> aren't they fantastic? So that is weekend. And this gorgeous little number is City. Now, the feature of City is this fabulous open roll neckline. Now you can do it up if you want to and add functional buttonholes, but it is beautiful open and showing some feature buttons. I've actually used these massive press studs, which look amazing. And then I've used just a basic, really light sweater knit and then a different sweater knit on the neckline. Now you can see how open this one is. This fabric in the sweater niche, in the neckline, is really, really soft and drapey. And so it really drapes a lot flatter than say a scuba would. And I will show you a scuba in just a sec. So simple black dress, pair of heels, off to work. And then I've just added the weekend pockets onto this one. And this is the high low length as well. Now, one thing that I haven't mentioned yet, which is a feature of this pattern, is the hem. It is a wide hem, and I show you how to mitre the corners. So basically what that means, on the inside, there's your hem, and on the inside, it's on an angle, so it is gorgeous and neat, just like that. Now, again, if you are like me and you feel the cold, you could go the long sleeve, entice me, with the high neckline um, in the sweater fabric, the same one that matches your poncho. So we get a little bit of matchy matchy, which always looks quite chic in a dressed up outfit. Pop on our poncho. So we have the high neck underneath, and then we have the open neck. We have the long sleeves. And look at that, a pair of stockings or tights if you get even colder, all dressed up for work. Now, if your work look is basic black, but you like to dress it up, this is awesome. So this is a fuller bodied scuba. So it has less drape than some of the other fabrics. So a little bit more bulky. I've done it in the top length and then you can see the lovely corners and look at the neckline. You see here you can use feature buttons on the front, little wooden buttons um, and if you want to you can put, can you see those, buttonholes on the back to do the neck up but you don't have to, you can just have it lovely and open, just pop those buttons on the front and just keep it lovely and open. And this is a gorgeous statement. Now let's do those buttons up. Now, if you just do up one button, you are going to instantly have your neckline sitting up higher. Let's do up another one. And again, higher again, more like a roll neck. And the last one, there we go. All the buttons are done up and then it is like a roll neck. 
So be aware with a, a, a fabric as chunky as Scuba, it is going to sit quite high and particularly because you've got the double over of the tabs, the plackets along the side. There we go. Now, one thing I will advise, put a tag on centre back because this doesn't have shoulder seams. Sometimes it can be a little bit hard to know what's the front and what's the back or what's the shoulder. So you can put, um, put a tag along the back, but really, I mean, you can kind of play around buttons at the front, a little bit of asymmetry, never hurt anyone. Just have fun. So you could do a matching skirt, a little top underneath. You could contrast whatever you like to create the look that you are after. Let's go sporty. So I made these fabulous. Can you see that? Does that look good? I made these fabulous foxies in a cotton lycra and I wanted a tracksuit kind of look. So this is with the hood and a kangaroo pocket and I've just done a contrast the opposite side of the cover stitch so the decorative side on the outside and I've just gone around all the edges the same as I did on the foxies how cute is that and it is so warm it's look at that can you see the fluffiness on the inside so it's matching but this is cotton lycra and this is that that fluffy um, sweater sweatshirt European sweat knit from both from Wattle Hill my drawstring is courtesy of a pair of my sneakers <laughs> and it is exactly what I was looking for this would also work in a French terry um, and I think too what's great with French terry that you could take advantage of is you know how the edges curl a little bit like the proper loopy French terry you could do that, so do the hem still, and then cut it and let all the edges curl and show that the other side as like this subtle contrast. Look amazing. And this is gorgeously warm. So if you're playing sport and you want to put this on after or you're watching your kids play sport and you need that extra warmth, you have the hood. In the tutorial, I show you um, how to line this. It's really, really simple. It's really just one or two extra steps. And I love it. So a, a hood and a kangaroo pocket, it really characterised that real sporty look. And there are so many different fabrics that you could do this in, depending on what season you're in. Now, if matchy-matchy isn't your thing, that is okay. Just contrast it. Pick a couple of colours and just do a contrast. And then I reverse cover stitched the pocket as well to match. And again, the yours truly. And I am so warm. It is gorgeously warm. And just easy, comfortable, which is what we love. That we still want a statement, but we want to be comfortable. That's fair enough to ask for both. And again, these are the foxies in a French terry this time. And I did what Mal suggested, and I took in the sides just a little bit of the French terry. Now, if you're looking for something sporty, but a little bit less warmth and just for cover or for a statement, how about this awesome eyelet style fabric? So it's quite sporty. It's just a cover up in the top leg. And the hood, which I have lined in the same fabric, super easy to do. A little bit of a shoelace, again, stolen from a pair of sneakers. And it's just easy. It's just, it's fresh. <laughs> I feel fresh. And something like that to just pop on, you know, after you come out of the pool, or you might have gone for a walk and you just want to cover up a little bit, or over your gym gear, or on the weekend. And just that little bit of 
lovely, easy. I'm not usually somebody that wears white or makes things out of white. I love this. I love this. It just has that extra. And again, just playing around with your colours with the, the little bit of the pink and on the pockets. And it just all looks coordinated without looking matchy-matchy. I'm loving this. This is what I love about these videos is I get to do things that I wouldn't normally wear. So fabrics like white that I wouldn't normally wear. And then I get to see it on video and I fall in love with it again. And my whole wardrobe explodes. And it's probably the same concept as the poncho. I didn't think I was a poncho person. And then I made one and I thought, wow, wow, I'm missing out here. And then I made another and to make it modern with modern features and with little elements like, you know, that gorgeously sharp hemline and nice and neat. And it doesn't look homemade. You don't look like, you know, a poncho that you wore back in the 70s, unless that's what you want to sew up. It's modern. Next, we move on to the All Seasons neckline. Now, this one features a simple banded neckline like on a t-shirt. But I bet you didn't expect to be making a t-shirt, did you? It is just like an easy fitting, lovely fluid t-shirt. No armholes, super, super easy to make. And then you have either this high banded neckline, there we go, or you have the mid banded neckline, which is a little bit wider and a little bit lower. Makes a great t-shirt. This is just a really soft, fluid, viscose fabric. And then I've sewn it up at the sides just along this little section here to create a sleeve. Wear it out. Lovely, easy, breezy t-shirt. And a fabric like a viscose or a modal or a bamboo, it is so gorgeously drapey that you just get all these lovely folds and all this lovely movement. And it looks just as fabulous with the palazzos. See all the gorgeous drape happening. A little bit of a tuck so you get that waistline. Beautiful. Lace is another fun option to consider. So basic black dress. If you just want like just that little bit of drapiness for whatever reason, just add that little bit of a layer and you can cut it to whatever length and width that you like and you pop on the all seasons neckline and there you go now with this one i had a bit of a play with the lace so you can see it there and i just trimmed it so it kind of had a little bit of a, a scalloped edge along the bottom but you could do that all the way around um, i actually trimmed it a lot shorter um, i started off with it was down here and i made it quite long did not suit me. So then I just trimmed a little bit more, tried it on, still no. And then finally, perfect length, which is probably ended up being the top length. And then just a very, very short sleeve. Makes a really gorgeous layering option. Even if you just have like a gorgeous lace, you could put a contrast dress underneath. And so you can see the gorgeous lace. Fun sec. So I would consider this daytime, obviously with the sneakers, um, but I want to go out at night and I want to glitz it up a little bit. There. Just adds that little bit and maybe with some gold shoes. There we go. Some gold shoes, a little bit of jewellery, the contrast dress, a little bit of lace and daytime goes to nighttime. Now, there's one more thing I want to show you with this lace top, which you can do with lighter fabrics. Now, you will need something with a waistband. So this is the symphony skirt. So whether, you know, it's a pair of pants or a skirt. And here is our lace. Now, let's just lift the front up. Tuck the sides into your waistband. And then tuck again 
into your waistband. Blouse it up. There you go. You have a brand new top just tucked into your waistband. You could probably tuck it into a belt as well. And you've just got it crossed over at the sides and it is gorgeously drapey and beautiful and so easy to do just with a bit of tucking or pinning. And last but not least, just a gorgeous, soft, all seasons, high neckline, really lovely and drapey and just that easy neckband that is so great whatever the weight of your fabric you can utilize this one for whatever season you're in i've done the high low here now we add the scarf so it is really basic it's just a circle so you could do it in a matching or a contrast fabric, depending on what you wanted to do. And it adds a whole layer of warmth to your outfit. Gorgeously snuggly, you can shift it around to wear it however you like. And how drapey your fabric is or how bulky your fabric is and how much body it has really depends on how the scarf is going to look. Let's have a look at it with a contrast. Okay, so simple black dress. And then we combine the colors and add a little bit of contrast. And you can just play around with it. You can see this one's not as full because the fabric isn't as, doesn't have as much body. Lovely, chic, no shoes. <laughs> and as I said, it's just a really lovely, like medium weight sweater knit. And it gives a whole lot of warmth and freedom. And that is it. What did you think? Do you have a favorite? Do you have a fabric in mind already that you might like to make in one of these options? Now, don't forget our giveaway, so comment below, either on YouTube or in the group, and you go in the draw to win with Love Poncho Patterns. Now, our testers will start showing their photos from tomorrow, and then there is the pattern release. That starts on Thursday, the 22nd of July, 6.30 p.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time. Don't forget to subscribe. Click on the red button, which is down on the left-hand side. So thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the group.